Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, then welcome. My name is Christina and on my channel we talk all things beauty from my own experiences. So before you go, make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave any comments that you have for me down below. Today's video is an empties video and I want to do this as quickly as possible. The reason being is because I just definitely know I over explain things and I want to just be quick with it, tell you guys exactly what I like about it, maybe if there is a really big con and if I would or would not purchase products again or if I already have. We have a lot of skincare, a lot of body care, so let's get into it. First we have the La Roche-Posay Thermal Spring Water. This one I use to kind of prep the skin after cleansing. Typically any facial device that I use needs a slip layer, so those tend to really dry down as you go on like your face. So this I like to use to just spray to rehydrate that slip layer. It was was really really great for that reason I would repurchase this I found that this was non irritating to the skin and it just it served its purpose really well next we have the Hada Labo Goku Yun Jun milk this one is the milky one as the name suggests there are a bunch of different ones so it's easy to get them confused it's almost like a very very runny type of moisturizer I really liked how hydrating this is and I feel like it really made my skin very supple. My only con is that it's very easy to get this confused with the other products. I actually purchased the hyaluronic acid version versus the milky lotion the last time I went to pick it up so that was my bad. That's probably the only con I have. A little bit of this goes a very long way. Other than that I would definitely repurchase this and this is also something that my husband uses and he found that his skin just looks way more moisturized and I can attest to that because of this product. Next we have this Softy Mo Speedy Cleansing Oil. I really liked this oil. It's a very, very thin texture and it's quite runny. I found this was really easy to rub all over the face without it tugging or pulling on any areas. It was very, very effective even on my waterproof mascaras and any stubborn makeup. If I was wearing a lot of makeup or if I was just wearing sunscreen, this worked really, really well. I really like that it doesn't leave any sort of film on the face when Whenever you go to wash it off, it emulsifies really nicely, gets that milky consistency, and it washes right off and you're ready for your second cleanse. I really liked this and I would definitely repurchase this. Next we have the Thank You Farmer Sun Project Water Sun Cream. This is an SPF 50 plus triple PA. It does come out white. If you guys can see, there is a little bit of product left there and it does come out of the tube white. There you go. You can see it right there. It is a thicker consistency when you're thinking in terms of Asian sunscreens. This one does say it's a water sun cream, but that's exactly what it is. It's more of a creamy texture. So it's not thick by any means, but it is not going to be a runny sunscreen. Now, right here, I just kind of blended it out a little bit so you can still see the texture. It's very, very thin, but when you blend it out, it leaves absolutely no white cast. I think it's great. It gives you a nice glow, but it's not greasy. It doesn't add like a super shiny glass skin like layer. So if you do not like looking greasy and you want an SPF that's not gonna feel heavy, this is a really good option. This one actually was my husband's favorite and I would purchase it again because he really liked it and it just made him want to wear sunscreen. And if you haven't used Asian sunscreens, they are the best, absolute best. Next we have another La Roche-Posay product. There is a little bit left in there, but it's barely anything and it just kind of got to the point where it's kind of annoying to you know, try to get it out. So this is the Lipicar Wash AP Plus. This is a gentle foaming moisturizing wash and you can actually use this on your face as well as your body. For me, I was using it on both actually and that's not something I do with pretty much any of my other products except for La Roche-Posay products. I really like this. There's no scent to it whatsoever and it was very, very gentle on my very sensitive skin. In the last like year and a half, two years or so, my skin has become very, sensitive and I get like random rashes this never did that to me it's very gentle and it feels like it actually cleans your body it does foam up really nice gives you a really good lather and I also liked it on the face I felt like it was non stripping and I also felt like it
it was actually cleaning my face. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that I really like foamy, very bubbly type of cleansers and body washes. So that just automatically feels more clean to me. But I can tell you guys that this does feel effective on the skin and I would purchase this again. Another La Roche-Posay product, I have a ton of them because I did go through a long period of last year just loving the products. And I guess the beginning of this year, this is the Daily Repair Moisturizing Lotion. And this one specifically is the one for normal to dry skin. They also have a dry to extra dry skin version. I don't like that one. I have used that one in the past. I feel like it's way too thick and it doesn't blend out fast enough for my liking, but the normal to dry skin one is definitely going to be a little lighter in consistency. And because of that, it does absorb very quickly and it's way easier to blend into the skin. Again, it is fragrance free, which is great. You can actually use this on the face and the body. I did use it on my face for a little while whenever I was going through a lot of like skin areas rotation and it's fine on the face but I would definitely say for me and my combo normal to oily skin type I liked to use this specifically on my recovery moisturizing nights and nights only I found that it was a really nice moisturizing layer but other than that I pretty much just used a separate moisturizer, but I love this on the body. I find that it's so easy to just throw on, sometimes even when I'm feeling lazy. This one was my go-to because it was just super simple and it dries down very quickly as well so you can get dressed like very fast. So I would purchase this one again, but again, be careful to not get the dry to extra dry skin one. If you're looking for my recommendation, definitely the normal to dry skin one. And I've only seen this version at CVS and Walgreens. I haven't seen it available at Ulta. Okay, we have the Dermalogica Daily Glycolic Cleanser. This is the 5.1 fluid ounce one. This was nice whenever I felt like my skin was like breaking out or something and you can also use this on a day-to-day -day basis. I would recommend either using it for night or the morning. I wouldn't really use it both morning and night because I found that it could kind of dry my skin out a little too much. After you wash this away, it definitely does make your face feel a little tight, but once I put on the rest of my skincare, I didn't feel the effects of that, so it definitely can can dry out your skin even if you do have oily skin like I do so be warned I did like it for when I was having breakouts and I felt like my skin needed a little bit more of an aggressive regimen I guess but I would not purchase this again because it's very very expensive it's five fluid ounces and I feel like there are other cleansers that do the job just as well probably better than this one and I just wanted to finish it up because it is so expensive and I wanted to make sure that you know I got the most out of it. <laughs> Next we have the very famous Beauty of Joseon Relief Sun sunscreen. This is SPF 50 plus P triple I mean quadruple PA plus and this one as well is a white sunscreen. Let me see if I can get any out of it. Oh there's just a tiny little bit left. This does come out white and I really like this because it feels almost like a gel cream texture. Definitely has more of a creamy feel to it, but it's lighter than that Thank You Farmers one in the sense that you can kind of feel more of a gel texture to it. I didn't find that this left any sort of white cast. It blends out really, really nicely. That's what it looks like before I blend it, just so you guys can see. You can definitely tell that it has a lot of moisture in there. And once you blend it out, it completely blends out. I did not find that this gave me any sort of white cast. And this one will give you a little bit more of a glow than the Thank You Farmers one. So it'll definitely leave you looking dewy, but again, not greasy. It is going to be a little bit thicker than a water sunscreen, like an Asian watery sunscreen. But if you have normal skin, if you have dry skin, even if you have skin like I do, I feel like it still works really well. And I almost feel like this would work well as a makeup primer too. I did really like this. I would repurchase this again for sure, but I've actually been trying out their new sun serum and so far so good. That one is such an interesting texture. I definitely want to kind of touch on that a little bit more in the future. Okay, next we have the Naturium Retinol Complex Cream. This one I actually did not finish up completely, but I went ahead and I put it in my empties because 
I'm pretty sure that this is old and expired. Yeah, and I still pumped it on my hand. I don't know. <laughs> so this one, it feels nice. The texture is good. It is going to be more of a creamy moisturizer and I didn't find that this was irritating on the skin, but my problem is I'm not sure if it actually did anything. I kind of felt like it was just like a regular moisturizer, like a night moisturizer, you know? It was good in the sense that it didn't irritate my skin. I didn't feel like it was mixing with any of my other skincare products badly but again i'm not sure if it really did anything it could also be because i just switch out my products my skincare products so regularly that maybe this one just needed a little bit more time of use in order for me to see differences now i know with a lot of skincare products you have to use them consistently for at least like I don't know, a month to three months, depending on what it is, you know? But for me, it just wasn't realistic to continue to use it if I wasn't seeing results within like two months, you know? And also I am using Tretinoin now, so I don't really have a use for additional retinol products. So because of that, I don't think that I would be repurchasing this. However, I would recommend this to someone that does typically have bad reactions to other retinol products because I feel like this one is very gentle. My next empty is this toothpaste. This is the Boca Element toothpaste. It has Nature plus NHA, which is nano hydroxy Petite. I cannot say that still. It's a fortifying 100% non-toxic version of hydroxapatite, a mineral that makes up the primary foundation of teeth and bones. And I already have repurchased this. I love this toothpaste solely because I think it has stopped me from having cavities. <laughs> and I, I truly believe that. Let's see, I've gone through, I think, three bottles now. It's very nice and minty. It leaves my teeth feeling very, very clean. But also, I went to the dentist recently and I didn't have any cavities and I am so prone to cavities. I get them so often and I didn't have any cavities. And that was the first time I went to the dentist since using this toothpaste. And my husband never gets cavities. And it has been quite a while, like a couple years since we went, to be honest. But don't worry, we're getting on top of everything. So he, I hope he doesn't mind, but he did have a cavity and he did have to get a filling. And we don't use the same toothpaste. We use the same toothbrushes, but not the same toothpaste. So because he's not prone to cavities and he got a cavity, I don't know. I think that says something, right? I feel like that says something. I'm going to continue to use this toothpaste. I have no complaints so far. Oh, I do have a complaint actually. I don't like I don't like this screw on top because the actual part where the toothpaste comes out is very small. So sometimes I have to like fiddle around with this. But other than that, it's great. Okay, next, my Cosrx the vitamin C23 super vitamin E plus hyaluronic acid vitamin C serum. This is amazing. It has like an oily texture to it, but it absorbs into the skin completely. I feel like it's so luxurious because of that oil texture and it's a very, very thin oil. So don't think that it's like a heavy facial oil. It completely absorbs into the skin. I love it. I feel like it really, really helps with my acne scarring and whenever I have break up, breakouts or anything, afterwards I use this and, well, I use this every day basically, but I feel like since using this, all of my acne scars go away very quickly. It's amazing. My only con, and it is a big one, is that I have to stick this in the fridge. That's what the instructions say. But my fridge is downstairs and I get ready upstairs. So sometimes I get very lazy and I don't go downstairs and use it. Towards the tail end of this bottle, I started to just store it in my bathroom. Bad, I know. And it completely oxidized. I do not know if it's because it just reached its time or because I was not refrigerating it. It wasn't next to a window or anything and it's not supposed to be that dark i got a new bottle and i compared the colors and man they are different so be prepared to refrigerate this if you buy it i would recommend it though because i feel like it's super effective and it just 
feels amazing on the skin, nice and lightweight. And it's great when you're using a bunch of different products for your skincare like I am because it feels like one less product that's just sitting on the skin. This one I did not purchase. I think it was a free gift with purchase or something. This is the Pharmacy Wake Up Honey Eye Cream. It's a brightening vitamin C eye cream. I do like this. It does have a slightly like jelly texture to it, but for the most part, it is a cream product. I felt like the efficacy of this is really nice and it blends in under the eyes very quickly. I hate an eye cream that takes forever and ever to blend and you have to sit there and rub on your eyes, which is not great. It felt really nice as makeup prep. I would purchase this after my Ulla Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. I love that one as well. This one is really nice too. To be honest, I don't know how effective eye creams are, but I like an eye cream to prep for makeup. I think it's great. I think it adds a little bit of that extra moisture that you need. That's what I use them for typically. Not purchasing it anytime soon, but I would love to purchase this in the future. Okay, next I have these little guys. I think these were also free gifts with purchase. These are the Glow Recipe Avocado Ceramide Moisture Barrier Cleanser. I loved these. I thought that they were so good. They were this creamy texture that really foamed up super nicely. I felt like this was super gentle on the skin. It was not irritating whatsoever, but I also just felt like it cleaned and prepped my skin for my skincare. I didn't feel like it left my skin stripped at all, but I also felt like it actually cleaned it. So, you know, there is a fine line between a product just kind of stripping your face and not doing anything. And I feel like because it was so creamy, I was kind of like, I don't know how effective this is gonna be, but it's it's great, I love this. If my skin were going through anything and I needed to just like use ultra gentle type of skincare products, this would be a go-to for that. Next we have the Necessaire, the Body Exfoliator in the scent Eucalyptus. If you guys follow me, you already know I am obsessed with this product. This one specifically is the one that I used and it fell in love with. I think that the ratio of scrubby bits to actual liquid in this is the perfect, perfect ratio. Sometimes, you know, you can use an exfoliator that feels like it's doing absolutely nothing because there's just way more liquid than scrubby bits. Or on the flip side of that, something can just feel like you're rubbing rocks or sand on your skin, you know? This is the absolute perfect ratio that I have found. I feel like it gives me a nice foamy cleanse with the liquid. I feel like it gets really nice and emollient, but the bamboo charcoal scrubby stuff in here also feels like it's actually exfoliating the skin without being too harsh. I'm absolutely in love with this. I already bought the full version, the full size version, and I'm going to continue purchasing it because it just is that good this with the topicals slather oh my goodness you guys absolutely need to try the combo because it is the best the best combo next we have the ula henriksen strength trainer peptide boost moisturizer first of all this packaging so cute i love this purple it was just so fun to just have this on my skincare shelf second of all I like the consistency of this. It's kind of like a medium thickness cream. I thought it was great for nighttime and nighttime use only because it did kind of leave a greasy feel to the skin. And I like that though for my night routine. I like when my face feels nice and oily and greased up from like my skincare products, not from like my own oils, you know, cause I feel like it really allows everything to absorb into my skin. This was perfect for that. I feel like it gave just the right amount of hydration to the skin, just the right amount of like oiliness to the skin, it layered nicely with all of my skincare products. And I would purchase this again, just because I don't know, I just really, really enjoyed the texture of this and I feel like it was non-irritating. Okay. Next Next we have the Tatcha, the rice wash, and again, gift with purchase. I really liked this. I like the scrubbiness on my skin, but I also feel like for the face, the way that the scrubbies kind of broke down, it was really nice, didn't feel 
too intense, you know? So I typically go for a chemical exfoliant when it comes to my face, but this one actually felt gentle enough to feel okay to use on the face. But I would not purchase it because it is pretty expensive. And while I liked it, I feel like I have other cleansers that I like more. I would use it, like if they sent it to me, then I would love to use it. I love Tatcha products, but for me right now in my budget, that's a no-go. <laughs> okay, next we have the Hymish All Clean Balm. And using this, I felt like I joined a club. Like, honestly, I feel like everybody loves this cleansing balm. It does have a slight scent to it. I don't know what it is. It's a little citrusy, I think. Maybe? Does it say? No, it doesn't say. But was not irritating to my skin. I really liked how emollient this is. It melts down very quickly and it melted down into a very thin kind of oil texture, you know? And it removed my makeup very, very quickly, very effectively. My only con is that it can get a little filmy around the eyes, so be careful not to get it in your eyes, especially if you wear contacts. I would recommend to either remove your contacts beforehand or to, you know, be very careful and be prepared to just like toss those contacts because it can get very messy in that area however it did remove my eye makeup very nicely so that's a plus i really did like this i would purchase this again however i do i found out that i do have a lot of cleansing bombs to go through so i'm going to go through those before i purchase any more okay next we have the way body cream this is the saint bart's one that everyone has been losing their minds over this is just like a baby i have another one in my bathroom and you guys this scent's okay. <laughs> I It's okay. I am not losing my mind over it. It definitely does smell like summer. It smells tropical. It smells lovely. I'm not quite sure what the notes are. I'm, I'm sure it says online, but this was nice, but it almost feels more like a lotion versus a body butter. This felt more like a very expensive jarred lotion so it's a nice lotion if you're looking for something that absorbs very quickly into the skin however if you're looking for a very thick very like rich type of body butter slash cream thing i don't know if this is going to be the one for you but yeah it was nice but i don't know i wouldn't repurchase it i feel like the scent was nice but it was nothing super special for me this one, the Kapari Ultra Restore Body Butter with Hyaluronic Acid. I actually really liked this one. I would purchase this again. I feel like this was more of a body butter type of texture that I like. So it's not to the point where it's just super, super thick, but it definitely is significantly thicker than a regular lotion to the point where it was like, a nighttime body butter only for me, but I liked it because it was nice and subtle. It had a very subtle vanilla scent to it, and I felt like it absorbed fast enough, or it absorbed enough to where I wasn't laying on my sheets feeling sticky, but it left me feeling very hydrated waking up in the morning. Another necessary product, and I have two, I have like this deluxe sample size that came in the kit and then I have this little gift with purchase I guess. I love this little like twist open twist close type of device. I think that's super great for travel and it's just very low profile in my opinion. The foam on this really nice. I didn't feel like it was irritating or stripping on the skin. Felt nice and clean and I liked this a lot. I would repurchase this again if I'm thinking like in the future am I going to purchase it? Yes, I am going to purchase it again. Will I be happy about the price tag? Probably not, but I liked it. I really liked it, actually. Okay, two more products. We have the Living Proof Dry Shampoo, the Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo. I cannot tell you guys how many of these I've gone through. If you guys watch my empties videos, I pretty much have one or two or three of these in there at all times. My favorite dry shampoo, it's pretty much the only one that I use now. I think it feels super lightweight and very cleansing on the scalp and the hair. I don't feel like I get bad buildup. Smells amazing. It's not too strong. Doesn't give me a headache or anything. Truly the best. And lastly, we have the TheraBreath Fresh Breath Oral Rinse. This is Invigorating Icy Mint. I like this. This is a really good mouthwash. It's not 
super, super spicy. It doesn't hurt. It is non-alcoholic, if I'm remembering correctly. There's a lot of science backing this product. You guys can read it here or you can read it online. My mouth felt very fresh for a very long time and I liked the flavor. I didn't feel like it was too abrasive or anything on in the mouth. It was good. I like it. I would continue to repurchase it. Okay guys, that is everything that was in my little empties bin right here. Now I get to take these and recycle them. If you guys don't know, Nordstrom has a recycling program and Sephora just started a recycling program, which is very, very exciting. So I'm ready to chuck that into my recycle bag and recycle them. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any extra questions for me about any of these products, please let me know in the comments down below. I'd be happy to give you guys information on these products or other things, you know? If you wanna just say hi, say hi. I try to answer everyone's comments. I hope you guys found it helpful. I hope you liked it. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.